Servus. Um, I think what's so rewarding about a film like this is how it gives you a whole new perspective uh, in the truth of how fast our kids grow up. I was crying when Isabel's, and it's featured in the trailer where she's walking in the street and reaches out to hold her daughter's hand, but she's not there. But then you take it even a step further with diving into like how our memories work whenever we're, we're sad and she's thinking of this moment of giving her giving her daughter a bath and her That's daughter good. seeing uh toys her baby toys when she was a baby and it just like i'm a parent and it just really struck me and meant a lot to me so i'm curious when you dive into material like this what sort of things do you notice change about your life do you reevaluate or evaluate your life any differently um do you see any personal growth in response to this material? You know, I think this film was very changing for me, challenging, first of all, because emotionally it was extremely difficult. It was challenging as a producer, as a director, as a writer, as an actress, pretty much everything. And as, as also a human being, to explore those emotions was uh, cathartic. At the same time, extremely difficult because it's going, it's exploring my worst fear in a way, but in, a, in another weird way, I had to go there. And the film is personal. At the same time, it's not me, it's not my story. I'm a very different person than Isabel. I'm not sure I would do the same, you know, if I could or if I knew about it or anything. But I do have empathy, empathy for her because she's dealing with her grief in a way that I find quite beautiful and could be very controversial as well, which is like, she doesn't take no for an answer. She doesn't stop there. She doesn't. And I love when people break grounds, even if it's strong in some way, you know, there's something about like uh, the human condition, either you accept the human condition and you're like, okay, you know, I'm done. You know, this is how it works. I'm, I live, I die. I don't go further than this, but I feel what keeps us going as human beings is always innovating and, and even creatively, like never letting go and never, you know, I, I wanted to do, to, to create a character that's not what's expected mm -hmm. of a parent and especially a woman's loss. You know, I wanted to, to, to not follow the rules, you know, and it's, it's, a, it's a challenging thing because some people will be mad at me for this character to exist. You know what I mean? She's like, she's not doing the right thing, but she's doing it out of love, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and, and I've sensed already a little bit of a, sometimes some people react, uh, it, it, it's almost epidermic kind of angry reaction at me, you know, not <laughs> even at the film. They don't even talk about the film. They're like, why is she doing this? You know? So yeah. it's interesting. I, I realize it's, uh, yeah, but yeah, children grow fast and it, uh, you know, yeah. but we all have iPhones to look at, uh, True. them when they were two years old <laughs> yeah, yeah that's true it's not, it's not um, the same <laughs> yeah speaking of the the, the human condition I, well what's really remarkable about the films that you've been a part of is like I can sit down and watch it with my wife and we can both are just kind of forced to almost have a conversation with each other where we're like do you think that way do you behave like we're just like analyzing our own relationship a little more deeper I, i'm curious like what you're plugged into creatively to because it just seems like you're you would make a really good human psychologist uh <laughs> from the way that you observe human behavior and human conditions so i'm just really curious what you're plugged into that's very kind of you i don't know if i would be a good psychologist but what's what's for sure is that as long as I remember being a human being, I remember observing people and how they were behaving. That was my obsession as a kid. I was kind of an introvert as a kid, but I would wait at the bus station, listening to little girls talking when I was six years old by myself going to school in France. You know, you didn't have much uh, parenting, whatever, you were by yourself very quickly, um, you know, in the 70s especially. Um, and, and, you know, listening to people, you know, I go to restaurants, my husband, it drives him crazy. Well, not in the past year, I don't go anywhere anymore, but, you know, before we would go to dinner and he was like, he was like, stop. And I was like, what? It's like, you're listening to people's conversation the whole time. Yeah. Like, I can't stop looking, listening because I'm, I'm really obsessed with human behavior. I, I can't lie to you. 
So thank you for noticing it because I, uh, and even complex, even weird, even anything, you know, I just like to understand what makes us, you know, so beautifully complex and sometimes horrible and sometimes beautiful and sometimes insane and sometimes, you know, but the complexity of the, and also the unicity of each individual fascinates me, mm -hmm. you know? It's like, what makes us, like, what makes us, those individuals, and our thought process and how we feel and how we take in the world, you know, is has always, always fascinated me. Always. Yeah. You know, to me, it's uh, essential to understand. And I probably will never completely understand anything, but, you know, I'm, I'm just digging. Ma Zoé est si gentille que tout le monde l'aime, ma Zoé. Et lui souhaite une belle vie.